now let's come to the actual part what i have done here is to open this movie product a folder basically the github repository that we created and cloned onto the local desktop i opened that folder and i added american movies underscore plots dot uh, csv so this is the same file that we parsed and uh, created with our beautiful soup library then i added requirements dot txt which essentially has all the libraries that we need to run the code so we are using streamlit we are using pandas and we are using markdown remember to always keep the versions because if things change in the later versions then your code breaks etc so it's a good practice to lock down the versions that you want now let's come to the actual app streamlit app.py so we just have few imports pandas and streamlit at the top and now these two lines which is movie product a text embedded within h1 tag text align center and color blue and streamlit dot write markdown double hash and organize your movie scripts that translate to ui like you can see it here movie pro dot a is in blue and center then you have organize your movie scripts powered by ai then we are giving our movie plots path which is the csv file and we are loading that csv file in this function load data we are keeping st dot cache the decorator simply because we don't want to load this file again and again we are saying to streamlit that once you loaded this cache it now what happens in this data is that this is a object that is returned which is pandas read csv object that is the data frame and now what we are doing is we are creating session states because we need to store what page is currently being viewed so that page 12 or page 13 whatever is here that is stored in the session state and we have the total number here and we have three things here the left button the right button and there is text in the middle those three can be seen here what we are doing here is we are taking the whole space and creating three columns previous middle and next the length of the columns is such that it's divided into 14 parts out of which 10 parts that is taken by the middle one and only two parts and two parts is taken by previous and next buttons you can see them here only a small portion is occupied by left button small portion by right button and the big middle portion is obtained by this this is left aligned because we don't we didn't center this but apart from that we are just saying that this whole space is divided into 14 parts out of which left two parts is taken by this right two parts is taken by this and the middle part is taken by this text and as you can see as soon as you click right this page number is updated and new data is loaded here so what's happening is as soon as this next button is clicked an on click next page function is being triggered and what is that doing simply it is increasing the session state page by one so if you are previously at 12th page now you'll go to 13th page similarly if you click on the previous button it's triggering the previous page which is you are decrementing the session stage of page by one and here in these lines you are initializing the session state dot page to zero so if you just load for the first time it's going to start at the zero page that is the first movie plot and simply whenever you click on the button these functions are triggered next page or previous page and the session state dot page is updated and in the middle we are just writing page session state dot page plus one because the indexing starts at zero of last page 
and we are getting how many pages are there by the length of the data so this line simply shows this which is page 13 of 3409 now what you need to do is every time you are changing the session state or clicking any button the code is run from top to bottom that's why in order to not load the csv file again we have cached this but what happens is that every time you click on next button this session state dot page is run and the page number is inc incremented and the code is run from top to bottom and when you run from top to bottom again you fetch the new row from the data frame based on the current page number it could be 13 or something like that and from the new row you are just extracting the column corresponding to movie name wikipedia link and plot if you remember our data frame has these column names movie name wikipedia link and plot and all we are doing is getting one row from the data frame and within that one row we are fetching all the corresponding columns and simply we are just writing it in the headers st dot header or movie name st dot write or link and st dot write or plot as you can see st dot header or movie name then our wikipedia link and the plot and the same thing is happening which is every time you click on next or previous button the session state is updated to the current page the session state dot page is updated to the current page and the code is run from top to bottom so every time the page number is taken which is the current page number state and you load the row corresponding to that page number that is the data frame row you fetch the columns movie plot the actual link and the content of the movie plot so the movie title the actual link and the content all these are fetched and this is essentially our first data visualization step so we have built our app moviepro.ai where they can scroll through all the movies that exist and later on we'll add more features to this and this is essentially our product based learning where we are building moviepro.ai product and we are adding all the features as we learn new things see you in the next section Thank you.